Welcome to Point Blank. Today we are going to talk about sacrifice. According to the dictionary, it says that a divine sacrifice as the, is to offer something as a gift to the deity. Deity is somebody who is superior, like God, a God somewhere. So as Christians, we give a sacrifice to God who is almighty. Let me give you a story. There was this story about the hen, cow, and pig. They lived in a farm. And then one day, they say, decided to give the farmer a surprise. They say they wanted to prepare the farmer's breakfast. So the hen said that he's going to give the eggs. So when the farmer wakes up, he's going to eat the egg. Then the cow this, uh, said that it's going to give the farmer milk. Then the pig remained silent. So the hen and the cow looked at the pig and asked the pig, What about you? What are you going to give the farmer? And the pig, uh, uh, with a voice that sounded uh, deep, sad, said, I'm going to give the farmer sausage. I have to die so that he may have sausage. My brother, my sister, you who are listening, God loves you so much that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Jesus had to die so that he may have life. So this Christmas, the best sacrifice you can give is your heart, is your life to him. As the pig gave his life to, to the farmer, so you as a believer, you need to surrender your life fully to Christ. As the hen, he gave an egg that was just uh, by the way, the milk comes out from nowhere. Yes, it's a by the way. But the sausage life has to be killed. The pig had to die to offer the sausage. So Christ had to die to give us life. Today I want to share five things concerning sacrifice. So the first thing we look at the book of Mark chapter 12 verse 33. As you ponder the word sacrifice, so let's start by the book of Mark chapter 12, verse 33. The Bible says, to love God and neighbor is more than burnt sacrifice, burnt offering and sacrifice. To love God and neighbor is more than burnt offering and sacrifice. So we need to love God. We need to love your neighbor. This sacrifice, what have you, what this Christmas, what have you done to that neighbor? What have you given to that neighbor? You don't know what they are going through. You don't know what they are passing through. But my urge to you is to do good to that neighbor. As you say you love God, then love thy neighbor. The second Thing I need you to understand it's in the book of Romans chapter 12 the Bible says that present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service I say that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service so Whatever you sacrifice unto God, let your bodies be sacrificed to God as a living sacrifice, acceptable unto God. Give your life fully to God. Don't say because it's Christmas we're going to party, we're going to drink, or uh-huh. we're going to take wine, we're going to take uh, the liquid, huh? have party. Share, Mm -hmm. make merry, and then in January, we're going to return to God. Uh -uh. 
my brother, my sister, you need to present your bodies as a living sacrifice. This is the time the young people engage in an unwanted sex. 